Welcome back, everyone. I'm continuing exactly where I left off. Oh, I should save in each of these spots. That would be useful. So, um, I'm continuing where I was. The What I was going to talk about next was what the chassis means. So, uh, I now have two chassis. What this means is that I can build... So, for instance, a scout infantry is basic chassis. Um, infantry, hand weapons, equal scout. Changing the chassis to a rover... Now I have a vehicle that's still using basic weapons. That's what this 2 over here indicates, is the number of movement per turn that it has. So, hmm, excuse me, uh, with this unit I can move 2 squares per turn. Also, I can decide to do absolutely nothing that way, I forgot. Um, I can decide that I want a speeder colony pod. So the standard colony pod is on an infantry base. I can make one on a rover base, so now the colony pod moves twice as fast. Uh, same thing with terraformers. Eventually I'll be using speeders for this. For the time being, I'd rather not have to spend the money on them. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to do is set that up so I can build a prototype. So the first time that you build a new type of either chassis, weapon, or shield, you have to prototype it first. Prototypes cost 50% more than the original. Yep, that's it. Um... So, for instance, uh, in this case, I have a Scout Rover. I have never built a speeder chassis before, so I have a prototype cost. If I, for instance, had a shield that was also new, I can add both of them on there and have the exact same prototype cost, because it's a prototype. It doesn't matter if it's a prototype twice or three times over. It's just a prototype. Uh, everything on the right, I do not need to prototype. So, for instance, when I get fusion plants, I don't need to prototype a fusion plant. I don't know why, just don't. And none of the special abilities require prototypes, luckily, because that would be terrible. Terrible. Okay, so let us continue moving about. Um, so this was rolling in moist and 1080 feet. I am going to go ahead and do another farm solar panel and road. Get a little glitch. Turn complete. Just scouting some more. All right, so um, I had finished uh, one. The one of the texts that I traded for was one that I was researching. So as a result, I now have a new research goal. I keep all of my research that I did before, but each tech that you have, the next tech costs more for you to research. So it's now longer for me to research these things. Um, I'm either going to go with let's see, our choices include doctrine flexibility, which allows us to have sea stuff, which is a great idea given that I'm right on water. That's a lot of wind. It's a really windy day outside right now. Um, so transport foils are the C basic C unit. Uh, troop transport add-on is not, or I should say, a foil is the basic C unit. Uh, troop transport add-on is well, eh, it transports. You can actually do a transport with other units as well. It's just typically not necessary. Uh, pressure dome. Pressure domes act as recycling tanks, which I'll get to in a moment, except that you can also have the city be submerged in water and survive. It probably won't come up this game, but if there's enough global warming where the sea levels rise by thousands of meters, yeah, you might start submerging all of the seas in the world. And, well, you'd like a fresher dome so the sea base survives. Uh, biogenetics, I get recycling tanks. Uh, recycling tanks give you a little bit of resources that in the city that it's built. It's kind of nice for right in the beginning when you don't really have much of anything in the city. Uh, network node would be kind of nice because I have two alien artifacts already. In fact, I'm thinking about that as well. Uh, ethical calculus gives democracy, which we can't use, and a children's crate. The children's crate gives you plus two growth, plus two efficiency, and plus two morale for defending units, I think it was. I'd have to check that last part because I don't remember that one off the top of my head. Um, progenitor site gives you aqua farms and the ability to talk to progenitors. Um, there's no progenitors in this game, so the ability to talk to them doesn't really matter. Aqua farms give you plus one food in every seed square. Mm, not really all that useful. And applied physics gives you lasers. Given the fact that we haven't encountered any other faction yet, other than DJ's comm link, which doesn't really count, I don't see the reason for going for applied physics. I don't see the reason for going to Progenitor Psych. Ethical Calculus is not a bad idea, but I think I'll hold off because I don't really need the crate, or I don't 
I have no ability to use democracy and the creation isn't all that useful, although the upcoming attacks are nice. Uh, information networks and network nodes would be really nice, but I'm going to hold off for a bit. Um, so I'm thinking that I'm going to go with Doctrine Flexibility. This allows me to expand across water. If I start wanting to build sea bases, I can. I think that's probably a good move at this point. So I'm still exploring. Um, nothing really special about this. On the other side of that little landmass, it looks like a small island, which would be nice to explore. Ah, so I can now see... Come back. The rest of the factions in what order things are at. Um, as you notice, these are the top factions for each tech category. I'm not in any of those. In fact, I am actually dead last, potentially tied with the believers. There's a reason the hive is terrible in the beginning. So, for technology, Provost Zakharov has the highest. Uh, that's the university. They are white. They're number one overall. Uh, military, Colonel Santiago, uh, Corazon Santiago. Given that Spartans are best in military, that makes sense. Population is LOL. LOL has a bonus to that's based off of population. That makes sense. Miriam being wealth is a little weird. Uh, typically, the believers aren't all that rich. They must have found a lot of colony pods. Or maybe killed... Or not colony pods. Um, unity pods. Uh, they must have... And CEO Morgan having territory isn't that abnormal. The AI must be playing well. Yeah, I'm not doing that great, but that's because it's early game, and I'm playing as somebody that I suck at, and Yang is not good at early game. He held his arm too stiffly, and so was thrown back repeatedly, until at last I seized his forearm and snapped it back against itself. Yes. His training suffered while the arm healed, of course, but I felt this was a lesson he must learn early, and well. Spotted. Spotted. Sorry. All right, so um, I have Doctrine and Flexibility. This means that I can now build C units, which are great. I don't exactly need it right now, though, but that's okay. Um, C units will help me out quite a bit. Also, I can build a pressure dome, and so some of the future things it gives me, Doctrine Initiative allows me to build cruisers, which are more advanced C units. They move further. Really the only advantage they have. Um, air power gives me needle jets. I can fly. Flying's awesome. And Adaptive Doctrine is an expansion tech. It gives me the Marine Detachment ability, also known as piracy. Um, a sea unit with Marine Detachment, rather than just killing ships, sometimes it will capture them instead. Effectively, you have pirates. Also, this is a defense type. Um, I'll get to shields later on. Really, I just wanted to see stuff. Okay, so from here, I have Industrial Base, which gives me armor. Also, the Merchant Exchange. Useful later. Um, we've already gone through the other two, so I'm going to go ahead and go with information network. So I have network nodes. Oh yeah, uh, it's ah, wrong one. Let's craft some units. Um, so this is the basic ship unit. It's basically a scout. It's called a gun skim ship because scout is too short apparently. Um, I am going to have one of these because I can use always use a scout unit. Uh, there's also a transport foil sitting there. This is a troop transport. It's just like my unity foil, only not quite as slow. I'm also going to go ahead and build some sea colony pods. Or not build, but create the plans for. Yes, I assume. And also sea formers. These are some basic units. Um, none of these are all that special. And I'm, oh, crap! The believers are that close to me. Um, yeah, I can put the believers through. Although the believers are going to hate me. So, fair warning. Um, the believers. Well, I'll make a few of the profile. Uh, they're one aggressive. Two, they're interested in exploring and conquering. And three, they have an agenda of fundamentalism. What that means is that they like people with fundamentalist. Uh, political agendas, or fundamentalist policies. I'm running thought control. Thought control is not fundamentalism. In fact, it is actually what Miriam hates the most. So, Miriam's really not going to like me. Oh well. Uh, she's starting off as noncommittal. Ah, the ruthless Chairman Yang, first among Hive. I lead the believers and am honored to be their sister, Miriam. We intend to embrace the truth of the good Lord's scripture. 
Um, yet again, she's asking tribute because, oh, actually, she's pathetic and I'm feeble. I never remember which of those two the order is in. I'm not going to do it because why? I mean, that haircut, really? Um, no, I am not going to give her anything, especially not anything like that. Um, I will go ahead and make peace with her because I don't have a military to fight her with. So, this will mean at least that she won't invade my territory as much. And yeah, see, this is what comes up when you have something that goes against what they like. My police state is godless and wretched, and the brutal crimes cry out to God for punishment. I pray that you will find the Lord's salvation while your soul can yet be saved. Uh, there's basically one of these for each of the um, faction choices that you have if you find somebody that goes against it. Uh, let's see, do you have any research data I care about? Uh, nope, she doesn't. Not surprising, um, she has a penalty to research, not just a minus two to research, but also she can't start researching until like 20 years after planet fall. It's kind of crappy. Um, so I'm going to continue scouting, because that's what I do, Perhaps I scout. Complete. Oh crap, you destroyed my former. You bastard. Luckily, I just built another one, but that sucks. Let me cancel orders so I can use that unit to attack former. And I'm going to build yet another former, I guess. Turn complete. Damn it. I'm just losing units left and right, aren't I? Let's go there. Indigenous life form. Oh, I'm going to lose more units, aren't I? Fun. Lord's Wrath. Oh, it must Turn be a new base. Oh, good. I survived. I figured the former would have survived. The guy didn't have all that much in the way of anything left. Um, so this is very heavily damaged, which is great, except... I mean, I can still I still have the unit. That part's nice. I'm going to die the moment I encounter anything, though. Which is not so nice. Uh, let's see, now I have lots of things I can build. Um, I don't have a prototype for C units. I'm not sure why that is. Just not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build... Let's see, do I want another former, or do I want... Uh, another regular former for now. No, oh, actually, I'm going to go with C former. Takes twice as long, but these squares are substantially better for food than anything else that I've got. Wait, that's not going to be all that useful anyway. I'm going to go with a regular former. I'll eventually explain why. So, um, I'm going to build another colony. Where do I want the colony? I would kind of like to be near that resource because I have no resources over here for some bizarre reason. There's a lot of fungus over there too. There? It's not terrible, it's just not good. Sure, why not? Oh, fun! They have a unit, and they have a unity foil, is that? Yep, unity foil. Oh, crap. All I have to do is not piss her off. If I do piss her off, I am screwed. So I'm going to switch that to a scout patrol and hurry it. Request confirmation. So um, you can spend money in order to hurry units. Um, yes, I can technically make a partial payment and actually still have it finished in one turn. For those of you that are more familiar with the game, I'm not going to bother. It's not worth the effort, and it's kind of cheating anyway. Turn complete. Production complete. There we go. Now I have a garrison back. My garrison's back, and it's better than ever. Hey now, hey now, the garrison is back. I guess that works. Anyway, more formers! No, not... Duh. Or formers. Although, 
You know, I could just do a C former. It's not a terrible idea there. Nope, regular former it is. Oh, why the hell not? Ah, uh, that was a bad idea. Turn complete. Improvement destroyed. So, this is a spore launcher. Spore launchers are the first artillery unit that you're likely to see if you're playing Alien Crossfire. If you're playing off Centauri, they don't exist. Um, spore launchers are artillery units. What this means is that they have indirect combat where they actually attack at a range. A uh, range of two, as a matter of fact. And rather than actually killing things, they instead just annoy you. Um, they will slowly damage you. Uh, assuming that you're not another artillery unit, they can destroy improvements, which is what they just did. What they can't do is actually kill you. So I am not going to touch... Ah, oh, crap. See, if I were to attack it, I would have really low odds. See, yes, my strength is substantially higher, but I only have one hit point left. I'm going to sit there for a bit. Complete. Turn complete. Really? Turn complete. So what my guess is that this unit here from the Believers actually activated a pod out here that spawned an Isle of the Deep. And then the Isle of Deep had units, thus it came in and attacked me. Uh, there's almost certainly a spore launcher here, isn't there? Yep. This is actually a bug in the game. You're not supposed to be able to use a artillery unit on a C unit. Unfortunately, the game doesn't care. The game, game cares nothing for the rules. Um, so I'm going to actually have to build a unit in order to take it out. So, yeah, might as well hurry up. Request confirmation. Otherwise, it's going to destroy all of my improvements and just be annoying. Turn complete. Uh, okay. I have built my first C unit, and apparently I am the first person of anyone to build a C unit. Oh wow, we're already past 15 minutes. This game flies fast. So I'm just going to go ahead and end this after the combat. Switch back to the formers yet again. Duh. See, this is the other problem with C. Is that, remember before when I mentioned that you have an advantage when you attack on land? You don't have an advantage when you attack in the sea. It's equal. Which means there's a 50-50 shot of me winning. Of course I lost. That that's great. Request confirmation. I'm gonna be late poor. You need to go back inside so I don't die. Complete. Uh, this is just Turn not complete. going well. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this after this C combat, which I'm far better at. At least it's already damaged. Of course you're disciplined now. I get 20 money, which is not that much. Way way less than what I would have received, or far less than what I spent. Um, anyway, this is a rolling moist section, so I'm going to go ahead and solar collector that. Perhaps a careful review of your options is in order. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and save this and end here.